Guys. Welcome back to Disney Sorcerer Arena. I know I'm not in Sorcerer Arena. I'm on the Discord page, but that's because we've got some good news. Before we get into it, if you wouldn't mind, please consider the like, subscribing, and telling your friends, leaving a comment down below. Um, trying to get better, trying to do some improvements, and your support would really go a long way in doing that for me. Here we go. Greeting summoners. Um, if you didn't know, the new Chippendale movie is coming out on the 20th. Goofy's birthday on the 25th. Uh, a lot of other stuff. Free goodies. Celebration Monterey Jack's a new front Monterey Jack emotes. Um, a llama drama is making its return. Did, did we just, didn't we just finish this thing? I feel like, oh, here it comes again. Emperor Zerg tokens can now be purchased in the Tournament Exchange. The Queen's Class and Super Collision trophies uh, found new homes in the Lifetime Quest. Good. And you can earn by promoting Zerg and Jack Jack to 7 stars um, respectively. Good to know. Um, this is kind of big right here. It's time for some of your favorite forest friends to join the arena. Widely anticipated Winnie the Pooh characters will um, arrive in their neck of the woods. Um, you can read all about them in the coming changes below. Then we have the schedule. We have the, the scare floor. The Winnie the Pooh event starts tomorrow. Oh, bother. Is the name of the event. Uh, Summoner Showdown Round 3. Spectre Showdown. Double. Double drop on the 20th if you want. If you need chip. Um, token specifically, I guess. <laughs> then we have the Tiana leaderboard coming back. Then we have the, the, uh, Hunchback Tower coming out. Then we have Heroes Duty, which is the Wreck-It Ralph event, if you're interested. Then we have Gear on Monday, the 23rd. Watch out for that. Then we have Triton coming back. And then we have the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, the Lama Drama coming back. Then we have some changes to tokens. Farm, they're putting Eeyore in. Um, he's go he's going to 4B of the uh, Grand Campaign, I guess, which was previously Hopper. Hopper's moving to 6K, which are previously empty, and Pegasus is going in to 7G. Good to know. Um, villain Campaign, uh, 6B, which was previously Pegasus, now Eeyore. Eeyore is added to the Ultimate Chest. Eeyore and Pegasus added to Campaign Chest. Spell changes. They're changing... Conjuring culture, bro, bro. As, as I've been going on, specifically when you use around the match, um, you're on your last leg. Yada yada yada. It will get it will get weaker as the match goes on. What is basically what it says here at the end. As the match goes on, literally the last phrase is as the match goes, it will become weaker. So I'm guessing they're gonna nerf Cauldron a little bit. I think it's still going to be good. Honeypot. No, we've all been waiting for the honeypot. Um, has had some oh, bothersome tech for quite a while, of course, because it says, oh, bother, oh, bother, oh, bother. Um, and it's finally getting its time to shine. Um, we've seen it has been a game, but essentially a brand new spell. This spell has a low magic cost and inflicts sweeten. That's interesting. Uh, can inflict slow. That's big. That's big. Uh, may do a little extra on defense. Interesting. Also, when Winnie the Pooh, absolutely love this stuff. Uh, and you're definitely going to want to pair them together. So they're telling you. Honeypot and Winnie the Pooh. The following, um, they're, they're now introducing a new faction in the game. The forest category. The following... Uh, characters will now be forest characters. Mordu. Makes sense. He's a bear. Sheriff of Nottingham. Bear. Robin Hood. Fox. Hundred Acre Wood. Makes sense. Sven. He's a deer. I guess. Eeyore is a donkey. Makes sense. Tigger is a tiger. Makes sense. Hundred Acre Wood. Forest. Winnie the Pooh, of course. Eeyore is a defensive character that is doing his best. Um, 
and that's all we asked for him. You are spread sadness by inflicting dampen, offense down, slow, and even sometimes stun. Eeyore's tail will stick to anyone. So make sure you keep an eye as it moves around the battlefield. Interesting. So we, I, so I, in my previous video, I talked about how I thought, I don't know if Eeyore is going to be S tier, but he's, I knew, I kind of, we had this thought that he was going to be a, uh, a defensive character. Tigger, offensive, obviously. He is uh, a little, getting a little bit more bounce here. And when he doesn't get the attention he deserves, he gains more speed and evasion. Um, he spread, spends a lot of time thinking about how much faster he 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 is than more of the opponents than he should be. Um, when he's not busy scaring enemies and himself, he's bouncing around the batting field, dishing out some serious damage. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Surprised that Winnie the Pooh is not. He might be in a legendary. We have to wait for the event to find out. It's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be uh I'm just a little surprised about how they're doing this all. Um when he's supposed to uh, support kinda of makes sense. He all he's always up to something. Um is he distract if he is he's distracted to eating honey? Wait. Does he have the honey pot with him? Is he holding a balloon? Or is he sitting down? Well it may seem like Winnie the Pooh. Is the bo is bothered by the battle? He is tough. He's a tough little chubby that won't go down easily. Speaking of his friends, he calls Piglet to assist. Interesting. So P Piglet's not a playable character, but he's a summon, which is interesting. Teammates uh, assist his teammates in a way uh, once the game. In a way that we've never seen in the game before. That's interesting. The beautiful bear ties um, things together with the leadership available. The wonderful world of make believe. All Winnie Pooh creatures are especially potent on defense. That's interesting. And this unique leadership ability works on def works only on defense. That lets his team reach. Combat potential uh, uh, of their wildest imagination. That's some big stuff. So, a defense, an, another team like Sensational Six, and honestly, I thought when they were coming out with this event that it was going to be like the Sensational Six. I figured we'd get, you know, I figured we'd get Eeyore, Tigger, Rabbit. And then later on, we get another couple. Um, and then we'd end up unlocking Winnie the Pooh. And who knows? Who knows if that's... Who knows what they're doing. But anyway, I'm super excited. Want to know what you guys think. Um, I'm, they're not in game. So I'll just slide my game over into the screen here. You can't see the whole screen, but that's fine. Just go back. So they're not in game, guys. Um, which is kind of sad. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing Client Twenty Two is kind of gonna come out tomorrow. And when it and when it comes out, uh, we will we'll get to see the Pooh Crew in action. What they look like, what they talk like, all that other good stuff. I'm super excited about it. I wish. They were in game now, um, and I think and I think um, <coughs> I think we can obviously because they're forest. Um, they're obviously going to be wild because they're you know it kind of makes sense that Robin Hood and Little John are, are kingdom. So this is going to be like is this going to be like a the adventure faction? How how we hit how they just brought that in. Well, they brought that in with Raya, I believe, and then they brought in Frank and Lily. So, um, if you're not familiar, I've thought that, that this year's raid is going to be Wilds based because of all, because it kind of makes sense. We didn't get a bunch of characters for a while, 
and you can argue, but yeah, we got Frank and Lily last year, and we got Fonja earlier. That was this. This faction is, is still one of the one of the smaller factions in all of Sorcerer's Ring, even with the uh, even with the miners. It's still a uh, a small faction, and adding three more is going to make it a little bit more robust. If we get if we get another couple, it'll be a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I think we're and I'm. You know, I've said it before, I, I still think there's a chance we might get the gummy bears. But I do think we're going to get some more wilds. They're making, you know, every year they go through this delineation where they choose a faction to make better. In year one, it was the Oceanics um, for the Ursula raid. In year two, it was the it was the Mythicals for the, for the Siege on Olympus. We, we saw a bunch, we saw... The Hercules team obviously come in. We saw um, the reworking of several characters that have been in the game since launch that nobody used to, and most of your summoners um, chosen are mythicals. And I think that's what we're seeing this year with the Wilds. I expect um, there, there, of course, I think there's going to be some more Forest Coasters. I think we're going to get the rest of the Pooh crew at some point. Beyond these three characters, um, I expect Mordu. Mordu. Can we just talk about Mordu? So when this game first launched, if you're not if you're not aware, Mordu was S tier when this game first launched. They haven't touched him since. They haven't touched him since. They've touched uh, my girl, my girl Merida, but they have not touched Mordu. And the fact that they're going to be putting him into a forest faction that doesn't have a leader yet. Um, guys, I'm just going to let you in on a sneaky, on a sneaky suspicion. Mordu, Mordu's coming up. Mordu's going to come up. Um, I've told you, I've told you previously, depending on how this poo crack, this, um, poo, new poo team works. I'm gonna switch. Uh, I might switch out of the miners into the uh, the poo crew, and that still holds crew. But I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now, guys. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Mordu coming up. Write it down. Write it down. Mordu coming up. Everybody, people know about Shere Khan, Baloo, Baloo. If you don't know about Baloo, Baloo is what he is, but he's coming up. Straight up. They might even put more Jungle Book. They might even do a Jungle Book later. They only have one. They have two. They have Blue and Shere Khan. I think they might do more Jungle Book. Hopper. Watch out for Hopper too, guys. They haven't touched him. A lot of sneaky good care. A lot of sneaky good things about to invest in this year in terms with the Wild Faction. But I'm telling you. It might be time to uh, to crank up the 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 volume on the wild characters. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I'll talk to you tomorrow when we get the characters. Until then, have a good day. We'll see ya. Bye.